Thank you, DCWL fans. It's great to see all of you here tonight. I've been working hard behind the scenes, and I can promise you that Hardcore Resurrection at Men Arena in Manchester, Ohio, is going to be a show full of surprises, surprises that you won't want to miss. Now, I know Duke Nukem has been stirring up quite a bit of trouble. At the last pay-per-view, he decided it would be a great idea to attack Joan of Arc and Olivia Benson. Let me tell you, that's not how we do things in DCWO. So here's the deal Duke gets to pick his own partner for the showdown against Joan and Olivia. I can't wait to see who he chooses, but I can assure you, it won't be easy for him. And that's not all. We'll also have a 12-person DCWL style battle royal tonight, featuring an equal number of competitors from the male, female, and tag team divisions. It's going to be an all-out war. The winner of this battle royal will receive an unprecedented opportunity to release two members of the merged DCWL and CWL roster. Now, I know NCWL fans might be worried about this, but let me assure you, any releases from DCWL will not impact the wrestler status in NCWL. I believe in the theme of resurrection that sometimes you have to be knocked down to rise back up again stronger than ever. This battle royal is a shot in the arm for our roster, a chance to prove themselves and rise to new heights. Oh, and speaking of surprises, I had a little chat with Nick Gemini, the owner of NCWL. After his impressive victory against Danny Jackpot, he expressed his desire for another match against a surprise opponent inside a steel cage, no less. Well, Nick, consider your wish granted. Get ready for an unforgettable encounter. Hardcore Resurrection is going to be a night to remember. So strap in and get ready for some hardcore action. Let's show the world what DCWL is made of. Thank you and enjoy the show.